binary text decimal is really really simple all you need to understand is the absolute basics of binary so what each bit represents in decimal and you also need to understand the basics of hexadecimal for example that a is 10 and b is 11 once you've got that it's really simple to convert from binary to hexadecimal so let's just say we've got uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay that's pretty random I've not done that for any reason other than it's 8 okay so this is a byte and we need to convert this into hexadecimal all we do is we split it down the middle so we've got four on that side four on that side and then we convert them separately as if they are individual bits and not connected uh, well individual sections of four and not connected so what I mean is we've got a one a two a four and an eight there and then we've got a one a two a four and eight there so instead of going 16 32 64 128 we start again so as long as you have them in sections of four that works and then all you do is you add up the components there so we've got eight and two and a one which makes eleven okay so we've got an eleven on that side and on this side we've got four and two so we've got a six okay finally you convert anything that is um, above nine into its hexadecimal representation so 11 as you know is B so 0110 is 6 B okay it doesn't get any more difficult than that if we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 let's just say that we've got we've got this number here which is obviously more than a byte but it doesn't make it any more difficult we still cut it in sections of four make sure you start on this side you don't start on this side when you cut it into sections of four I'll explain in a second why so I'm gonna split that there I'm gonna split that one there and we've got four there okay so here we've got the one the two the four okay so we've got a five there here we've got the eight the 2 and the 1 so we've got an 11 there and here we've got 6 okay so the answer to that is 6 B 5 okay however what about if you don't have a number that is a multiple of 4 so let's say we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. So this time we can't split it into exactly 4's because we don't have a 4 on this side. As long as we go to the right side it doesn't matter. So as long as we start here then it doesn't matter about these last two here. All that happens is we've got 1, 2, 4, 8 okay so we've got 8 and 2 so we've got 10 here which is an A. We've got 3 here we've got the 2 and the 1 and here we've got another 2 and a 1 okay we can just imagine if we want there's two zeros there you don't have to okay so the answer is 3 3 a when you're going the other way around it works exactly the same so let's say we've got 4 C D 8 okay so we need to make that into binary so we need to make the 8 first on this side 8 as we know is 1 0 0 0 then we need to make a D D is 13 okay so we'll have the 8 the 4 and we'll also take a 1 okay so we've got 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 C is 12 okay so we will take the 8 and the 4 sorry about the space in here uh, and the 4 is obviously just a 4 so we don't take the 8, we take the 4, we don't take the 2, we don't take the 1 so this number here 4CD8 is this number here all we did was we split it into 4's and we made that an 8, that D, that C and that 4 and that's it